Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and uh, it's early, early, early in the morning, and I'm out here to try and get a dawn flight with the night radian, see how cool it looks with the lights going as I fly around in the sky, and I'm back here, out here at the sports complex to make sure I have plenty of room to get this landing in. Um, like somebody mentioned, I should have taken it out a lot farther. Uh, to bring it in nice and easy for the landing and I was just trying to keep it in tight uh, and close so you guys could see it really well but this time I'll make sure I have plenty of room for the approach and get this thing on the air safely let's get this thing in the air and go alright guys as you know Early in the morning is usually almost no wind, and it is awesome. Man, if if only there was some daylight, I could fly just about anything right now. But anyways, we got the night radian by E-Flight. We're going to put this thing up in the air. I'm, I'm going to chuck it out that way towards the field. And uh, one thing you want to do is make sure those propellers are out before you run the throttle up so it's not banging against the fuselage. So, that'll cut off. Make sure safe is off, because we want to launch this kind of high. There we go, it's spinning. And then we're going to slow this down. And this airplane's going to look best uh, from underneath with the lights on. can see that in certain angles the lights aren't quite as amazing so as I get it turning and stuff but when we get it when we're looking at it from underneath it looks pretty cool right there a little less obvious and that'll make it hard for the approach a little bit Right there on that turn, I was working hard to make sure that I didn't let it dive too much. And I think when you're flying with the lights on, you're not trying to fly super fast. I got it, I actually got it moving pretty good right now. I think a lot of people probably fly this a lot higher. We'll take it up just a little bit higher. I did, um, so Elijah told me that he thought that the tape that they included, that they suggested gluing that horizontal and I've done that now because it was loose after that very first flight it's climbing just a little too much I think There, it looks pretty good. That's zero throttle, and it's still gliding. Earlier, the it felt like it was stalling every time I'd slow the throttle down, so... That's why I adjusted a little bit of down elevator in because you want it to, to move forward. You don't want it to try and stop, kind of like that first flight. And um, this landing will be challenging since I haven't gotten a good landing with it yet. And we're out here in the early dawn. 
but we'll set it up something like this and try to bring it in. <laughs> Ooh, bug in my face. Taking it up just a little bit higher. And hopefully you guys can see some of it. I know it's probably a little bit challenging being so dark out. But it does look really cool from underneath. my radio giving me a countdown it's so quiet out here because there's absolutely nobody around in fact I was a little bit worried because they do monitor this complex with cameras I was worried somebody would come out and ask me what I was doing which I suppose it's still possible I'm playing with the throttle, trying to keep it up in the air. I was kind of hoping that uh, we'd get more daylight for the landing as I was here right at the time of dawn. I checked last night to see what time I needed to get up, charge a battery, and get out here by. And I did pretty good, but the sky is really cloudy, so we might be limited on how much daylight we get. A nice low pass. We're going to take it up before I turn. Some of the angles are a little bit harder. This it might work better in a different light mode. It does have a lot of light modes and I was trying to get to where it was kind of like um, a constant uh, color changing mode. I thought maybe that'd be really easy to see but I've settled on this one and uh, the white lights and the blue lights got a pretty good contrast going but it's not, it's probably not optimal for me. It is flying really good. It's kind of nice to be out here early in the morning. And just got my coffee. I got there, the sign said they were still closed, but, and they were, the recording was saying, we're still closed. Come back and see us when we open. And then the lady answered, so you can hear me the props are folding back when I shut the throttle off all right it's giving me a countdown so we want to set up a nice long landing and uh, we're gonna start out there at the sunset or sunrise I mean nice and easy here hopefully I got it slowing down and then somebody said instead of trying to work it um, up and down or flaring it to work a circle down So I feel like that's what I got going on here. We might have to walk a little ways. Oh, well, I'm down. It, it did kind of get sideways and catch the wing a little bit, but I think it just turned around. It wasn't moving fast enough um, to cartwheel it. A little bit faster than it might have. I had the timer set to five minutes again <clears throat> and I was four seconds over 
and 60 sec or 60 percent of the battery is still available so it could have went quite a bit longer than five minutes obviously really cool looking with all the lights going i'm getting eight up that's one thing i was worried about because we had rain recently a lot of bugs out here but here we go props okay all in one piece we can take this home so much better results today i did I had to drive three hours to pick up this prop uh, all the way in Mansfield, Ohio. It was not available online until September, and I found it in a hobby town, and it was their very last prop there. So I did only replace one side because the pin was set very well in the original good side. So I left it and only put in the, the broke, uh, replaced the broken side. Um, so there is one new prop to give to Elijah when I return his airplane. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You guys, all the Patreons and members of the channel, you guys are awesome. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.